Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nissan build. We finished up the um, dashboard last step and step 14 is where we're starting today. So it has us gluing that down into the center console and the interior tub. Plus it also has us cutting out parts A28 and A27 and painting them the same color that we did the center stripe here on the dash. So I'm gonna mix that yellow up after we're done cutting those parts out. We're also gonna be working on step 15 in this video where we are going to paint that same yellow wherever it calls for the blue or the, or the red. So that's, this piece here gets painted that color. This piece here also gets that yellow. This piece here is LP5, which is a semi-gloss black. Same with the passenger seat. And then the inserts down here are flat black with a little semi-gloss black. And then we insert them into the, uh, into the tub itself. And most likely we're also gonna do step 16 because all of these are all two or three pieces and limited painting. So we're just gonna do 14, 15, and 16 in the same video. And I believe these inserts for the seats, since we're doing the colored interior, are also gonna be the 11, or the, the 11, I just read that, the yellow as well. So let's get some pieces cut out uh, for all these steps and we will uh, get going on some paint. All right, I am back from paint. We have some awesome seats painted. I know they look brighter on, sc on screen than they do live. I think it's the light. We have the door panels. We have seat inserts. We have some trim. We have the pieces that we need next for our step. So uh, we are ready to assemble some of these pieces and still have a couple painting pieces left to go, but um, we have everything shot and ready to go, except for we have to paint this centerpiece gloss black. And then that goes in here. I believe there's a logo that we have to put or a decal on. So I am going to make sure these are dry and then we will get going. All right, I'm back. We are ready to start attaching things in step 14 where we're gonna put the dashboard in finally. And these two small colored um, pieces of interior that go along the side of the uh, center console. So I have those already painted and we are ready to do that. So we will grab our chassis. Well, we'll leave the chassis, we'll just grab the interior tub. And we will grab, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue, nope, I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna grab the center console. And the center console goes onto tabs right here and right here, and then fits down into here. So that's where we're gonna get some glue. We're going to grab a little bit to grab a little glue on here. Now it's two points. And there, that part is in. And I always like to go back in after it's in and just kind of reinforce all my contact points with glue. I still think these are a little shiny for me. So um, I'm going to grab me some flat. Do I have some here? Yes. I'm gonna grab me a little bit of Vallejo matte varnish and we're just going to paint it straight on there. 
going to just brush it right on that. And when it dries, it should knock down that reflective property of it. All right, that takes care of that. Part number. go with A28 first, which is the driver's side, and then we'll do A27, which is the passenger side. So A28, there's no real clear cut areas to glue this. So there's a little bit of guesswork going on here. Okay, I think I see how it's gonna go. I think it's gonna go along this edge here and then sit in this little recess here. So I'm gonna to try to drop it in there and see what we got. So it fits right in that recess, if you can see right there. So, but now I'm looking at it. And you can see yeah, I wonder if you're going to be able to see that with both sides. And I was going to say, you can see on the other side where I didn't paint it because I didn't think it would be visible. So I left it white. But you can see white on that side. So I wonder if you put this piece in, are you still going to be able to see? Yeah, you are. So I'm going to shoot those yellow real quick. Just, just to make sure they're done. All right, while these yellow pieces are now drying, I'm gonna go ahead and jump down to step number 16, the steering wheel, and this little, little center section here. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the outside uh, gloss black. The center, I've already painted the whole part semi-gloss black, so now I'm just gonna grab a little LP1 and go ahead and shoot Actually, I'll probably just hand paint that um, gloss black. So I'll get that done and be right back. All right, it's a good little contrast between semi-gloss and gloss black. It'll help set that apart on the steering wheel. So we'll call that complete and ready. All right, let's get these darn things in there so we can wrap up step 14. So we're just going to grab a little glue along this edge right in here and a little glue up on that shelf right there without touching anything else. Then we're gonna grab this guy right here. Just kind of drop him in. And he's not all the way back. Then we're gonna grab a little bit of glue and just drop it back there. Yeah, I'm so careful around that edge. Just trying to let it flow where it needs to flow. All right, that is in there. So we'll do the same on this side here. Trying to get some glue to, to kind of solidify where it's sitting. All right, 
So it's at this point, I'd say step number 14 is done, but it doesn't close our video. So pretty happy with that. I'll do one more thing because it's catching my eye. Take some of our yellow that we mixed up and try to get down, down inside here where it looks like the paint did not cover too well. There we go. All right. So, like I said, step number 14 is complete. So we can check that off of our list. And if you look, those speaker grills aren't really glossy anymore. Not like they used to be. So, pretty happy about that. But I still see a couple little corners that are glossy. So I'm gonna go with a finer brush and just kind of hit those corners. go all right okay so let's go to step number 15 where we are going to start putting some seats together um which we get to do a little bit of masking and painting this headrest on part a9 on both of these needs to be semi-gloss black so we are going to, nope, I'm lying. It's supposed to be yellow. So we're good, we don't have to mask it off. Because if we're building C like we are, that headrest is supposed to be whatever color we chose for the seats. So we're good here, we're good here. Um, we're gonna hand brush X18, which again, I've said it in most of my videos, X18 is, um, to me is, uh, acrylic line semi-gloss black we're going to use lp5 which is the lacquer paint so we're going to go ahead and touch those that area on that seat and that area on the other seat real quick before we glue it all together all right that's one down that takes care of those little accents so now we're going to go back to working on the seats we're going to grab part a9 part A29 and part B25 to combine all those to make one seat, which is the right seat. We will grab A29, A9, and then A25. So it says the bottom of this seat is a notch well, is a basically a peg. Here's your notch. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. I know it seems like a lot of glue, but I've had seats come off in final builds and it wasn't pretty. At a nationals. Sit in there. All right, then. All right, so that takes care of that, that piece there. And then it says to put this piece in the passenger seat. So we are just going to Use a little bit of super glue. And that is one seat done. So then 
we're going to reverse the process and do it for the other seat. Put our seat cushion in here that we didn't do on both seats. And they're both A9s, so that just fits right in there. All right, so that's one seat done. And Get a little squeeze so everything fits together good. And just like that, just like that, we have the seats built, all of them. And now we're gonna go ahead and glue them down to the floor and step 15 will be done. So we'll grab our interior tub back out here again. And I'm gonna look at these. See how they test fit down inside there. So pour some super glue in there. I'll do a little bit back here because I want to make sure the seat stays in. I know it looks like I'm making a mess, but I'm not, but I'm not. All right, next seat goes in. Kind of wiggle it around. Until you feel it connect. Then, all right, so there we go. We have our yellow seats, which I'm a huge fan of yellow. So I know it might be bothering some out there, but I really like that. I like, I like the way it looks. So um, let me grab a panel line wash, light gray. I just get nervous about doing that especially since the panel line wash is not gonna go into here because that's a separate piece of plastic. Panel line would only affect here and that line there and that line there and that line there. So I don't know. I don't know. All right, back to where we were. An old friend of mine just swung by. So we'll get back to the little panel lining. This was kind of a, a test before I decided I wanted to do it, so. I'm using uh, Tamiya's, uh, well, I can't tip it because I'll, I'll spill it all over my bench. And I don't know if it's gonna dry light enough. Um, accent color, orange brown as a panel line. And I don't have a whole lot to there's not a whole lot of panel line to do. Um, so, I'm just kind of running it over there. Taking my sharpest brush and just trying to stay right in the line there. So far, I'm, I'm okay with it, but I'm hoping it's not too strong of a contrast because when it's said and done, I may have to, I may have to create a yellow wash and go over that and, uh, and see what it does. It's like I said, I don't want it to be so strong that it's that noticeable. So about all I can do. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'll let that dry and see see what it see what it does. It's not too bad though. 
I don't hate it, and I'm not screaming like I messed something up. So I'm I'm adventurous to a, a, a <laughs> I'm adventurous for a, a couple things, but not too many. Okay, so if we look at our directions, we have finished 14, finished 15, and now we are going to get um, the steering wheel done, which we also have a decal, a Nissan Z decal for the center of it. It does say to turn the wheel over. The actual steering wheel part right here needs to be LP19, which is, where did I put it? LP19 is a gunmetal, so we're gonna paint that real quick before we glue it in. So it's saying to, let me zoom in here, that you can see that it has to be really done well, so I'm gonna probably have it up as close as I can to my face. <laughs> so um, let me paint that and uh, I'll be right back and see how well I did. All right, so I did it, and I think it came out okay. I can't see anywhere where I'm trying to show you, but I was able to paint and get that little section down there. So that is done. So we will glue. So now it says to take are I'm gonna zoom back out a little bit so I'll make sure I get everything. Now we're gonna grab this little part here, our steering column, and this goes right over there. And we're gonna make it centered. Drop a glue, drop a glue there. That get good drying. All right, so that'll dry. Then, now we're going to put this Nissan Z decal on the center steering wheel, which is decal number 25, which I know we have. All right, now we get to do decal number 25, which is a Nissan Z logo oh it's a tiny one it is a tiny logo so we're gonna cut 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 and we're going to cut one more i think there we go. Now we're going to try not to lose that little sucker. We're going to get some water. And we're going to give that sucker a bath. All right, before we put the decal on, I'm going to go ahead and put the center part on so that way I don't have to touch it anymore. Check that decal a little bit. After the fiasco I had with another decal on my Ducati build. There we go. So that's in. And now I believe our decal is ready. get myself an extra hand here set this up and just like that right in the center we have a cool Nissan logo so now, you can glue that 
steering wheel. I know it says that we're finished with step 16, but I don't want it sitting around. So I am going to also do step 17 and we're going to glue it to the dashboard and then we will be wrapping up step 17 and this video. A little bit of wiggling. But it's in there. Not too shabby. I'm I'm really, really liking this. So we have some seats in and some steering wheel and the interior. Except for the door placards and everything else, the interior is done. Um I am looking at these, and there are just a really stark, too stark for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till that dries, and I'm going to get a uh, a bit more of a yellow wash in there and see what that doesn't do, tone it down a little bit. But uh, again, there we go. Off to the next step. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the like button and give me a subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time for uh, step number 18. Take care.